Um, you had uh, Supervisor Solis had held item two. Let me call on that, and then we'll do the public. Thank you, uh, Mr. Mayor, and I wanted to uh, thank you in particular for agreeing to join me in, or I join you in this motion. Uh, we did it together. Yes. <laughs> it's, it's good. There are some good things that are happening this year. Uh, and I'm really interested in, in providing uh, the public, as you know, with the best services possible that includes rebuilding our much-neglected animal shelters in L.A. County recently uh, paid a visit to the Baldwin Park Animal Shelter, and I have some photos that I'd like to share with the staff uh, on that visit that I took. Um, this particular shelter um, services the 5th District and portions of the 4th District, as you know, and our populations in that particular area have grown immensely, so much so that I believe the facility can no longer really address the issues of the growing population, including the animal population. On an average day, the Ballin Park Animal Shelter houses about 600 to 700 animals a day. Some days, as many as 1,000 pets, far exceeding that capacity. This was built back in the 1960s, if um, some of you may be aware. That makes a general care adoptions, reclaims by owners, very overwhelming and difficult to effectively manage. Upon my visit there, I viewed that um, the road, even leading up to the facility, doesn't have appropriate signage, and the street itself, if you would call it that, is not maintained. Understand that it's part of the county jurisdiction because it's an unincorporated area in Baldwin Park. I'm hopeful that we'll be able to uh, shine a light on that facility and hopefully provide whatever necessary uh, proper signage and, and other repairs that are needed. Uh, the long story short is I think the photographs really tell you uh, what we're looking at here. A, a picture's word is worth a thousand words. Uh, it's impossible to understand how currently the constituents of our area are being serviced because it, uh, in rainy days, as we just experienced, it's very hard to get into the pathway to get to this facility. You don't see any signs, but there's also piles of uh, wet pavement or mud. There's also a pool that has been left there now because it's not been maintained well where water collects. That can also lead to other, I think, uh, diseases and illnesses um, that need to be addressed. So I think, you know, I don't want to put any blame on the county staff because I think the folks that I met there on the ground are doing as much as they can given the limited resources. But I, I can tell you that um, they do need, um, we do need an overhaul. And I hope that this motion, along with your efforts, uh, Mr. Mayor, that we can start looking at uh, a budget um, that will appropriately address perhaps uh, moving this facility, improving upon it in its current state while we, while we move this along. And want to just commend also the staff that are there, because I did find that uh, many of the employees there have been there for many, many years and are very devoted to the community. And I certainly want to work towards um, that effort to see that we find some conclusion. Thank you.